Uh, hello, this is Elder Gifana, the developer of HSM Advisor Speed and Fit Calculator. Uh, today I uh, have released a pretty big update to HSM Advisor, the standalone program, and uh, Mastercam Hook as well. So the first uh, update, just to get it out of the way, is the new look and new functionality of our uh, uh, scientific calculator. Uh, we have better functions, more functions, and better look. Also, we have updated the um, geometry calculators, and we have a new reference tab, uh, which shows you a quick reference for GDNT. So, these nice pop-ups. Uh, on this front, we have nothing new. So. Let me just quickly show you what we have new in the Mastercam X9 hook. Let's quickly program this part. Uh, it's a D2 part. Let me show you the big new feature I have. It's um, very easy. It should make your life very easy if you're programming with Mastercam. I'm going to show you how to add the two paths uh, into the Mastercam operations. With that has been saved into HSM Advisor prior to that. So let's add several toolpaths. In this case, we're going to face the top of the part first. So we go to face. Oh, that's by the way. This uh, dialog now, load tool dialog, it has a new tree on the side and it splits the master cam or maybe other cam in the future. Uh, it splits the the saved tools and cuts by operations. So this face, it means this is cam operation facing high speed, same thing. So we are going to do face, select the tool and select um, the, the saved operation. And we select which uh, cutting parameters we want to save. Yes, do them all. Okay, pick up the geometry Perfect. Done. We created our toolpath. Let us now calculate. Um, I'm going to show you how to create. Uh, let me insert another toolpath from the database and then I'm going to create a new one to show you how to add it. So let's insert um, pocketing toolpath uh, rough pocket high speed machining rough pocket. Yes, let's pick up our machining geometry. Yes, let's pick up the proper linking parameters and double check our tool numbers. Everything looks perfect the way it was saved. There you go. We created the toolpath, it is being calculated. We can now add another one also high speed let's rough the wall outside so you, you can see how quickly we can create uh, the toolpath this way all you have to do is you have to save your uh, your two parameters and that's it and some also you have to always make sure that the tool offsets are correct you have to either save them as correct offsets or you have to then modify them. Okay, that's outside. Let me calculate, a, let me insert one more tool for finishing the outside. And the next tool we are going to uh, do manually. So we have wall finishing uh, yes here we have to select no because we want to create a new tool our new tool is going to have tool number five we are going to use a different tool for finishing so no we create a new tool there you go we just inserted the finishing operation now let's create next operation manually so we can go toolpath contour 
select the tool we want and we are not sure about spindle speed so let's uh, let's calculate that with the HSM advisor let's correctly pick up the linking depth of cut is going to be nothing and we're going to finish in one pass okay now we can go to HSM advisor select the material we are working with select the machine and select the cutting tool it will automatically find the cutting tool uh, using its name in uh, in mastercam and in uh, hsm advisor uh, cut database so everything is linked by the name so we have one one tool recognized okay there you go now we have to very quickly calculate cutting rpm cutting uh, cutting feed rate uh, we are going to use uh, high speed machining to increase the cutting uh, cutting speed and we are probably going to use about 70 percent feed override to get a better finish out of that and basically let's look how it, let's see how it looks this is how it looks we are machining very thin piece of material and the plunge rpm you see this lock here this means that we are now able to lock the plunge rpm to main milling rpm why we need this is because some tool paths in mastercam they don't allow you to specify a separate plunging rpm this is why we need it otherwise if you have different you know, opinions about it you can just unlock it and it will suggest a different number according to the current you know current conditions so in this case it's going to be locked by default and that is fine let's add another um, this cut to the database while we are here we can give it a new name finish let's give it a finish wall three or something like that yes add okay yes and let's see our toolpath now you see that the tools and tool offsets saved properly feed rate is here cutting speed plunge rate and retract rate well it doesn't touch the retract rate so it's up to you to do whatever you want with this and you see when comment is here so that's it that's how you add the toolpath into the cut database next time when you need to retrieve this you just go here to insert toolpath you select the toolpath you want to insert and find it in the in the list you can see that it's a finishing because we chose that double click okay add chain and that's it that's our new toolpath that we saved and now just retrieved I think it works better than the standard uh, Mastercam way of doing it, so I hope you guys like it. Well, that's that's about it. The next big update for uh, Mastercam hook will be for uh, Mastercam X, not not X, Mastercam 2017 and if there are no glitches on the current release the next one is going to be only to 2017 maybe i'll release one one or maybe two maintenance releases for the old x9 but i'm going to focus on the 2017 well thank you very much bye